Hi folks, this is Sumit and welcome to Academy's project session. In today's session, we will understand the project requirement as in what exactly the project is, from where the data is coming, how the data looks like, what are the different pre-processing steps that will be done, what are the different enrichment steps that has to be taken care of, and at the end, what are the different analysis that will be done on the data. So first thing first, project understanding. So as you know, this is a music data analysis and this project was implemented by one of the famous phone makers over the globe. So you guys are aware of different apps and websites which is available and largely used these days. So what you can do is you can log into the app or website and you can listen to your favorite music. For example, Wink Music or Ghana.com or in any other apps or platform available so what this company decided okay let's capture the data from the user and based on the behavior of user we will be allocating different royalties associated with that particular song like if there is a song which is uh, highly liked or uh, listened to most number of the times so based on that analysis a particular artist or any other people who is associated with that particular song will be awarded and this will help in you know building an appropriate business strategy so this is the requirement and now we will understand how the data looks like so in our data set there are various fields first field is user id it is a unique id given to each and every unique user next song id similar to user id every song like every unique song will have a unique id third artist id so the artist who has sung the song will have a unique id next timestamp this is the timestamp at which the record was generated start underscore ts this is the timestamp at which the song was played when you hit the play button start ts will record that particular time and it, it will get feed in the data next end ts it is the end time i mean to say when you stop the song that particular time will get recorded and it will be filled in this particular column gocd this is the area location, like A stand for US, A region, AP for Asia Pacific, J for Japan, E as in Europe, AU for Australia region. Station ID. So this is, this is a radio station, you know, even the radio stations play the song. So each and every unique radio station will have its ID. Song and type. Now when you stop the song, it is not necessary that you knowingly stop the song. I mean, sometimes what happens due to uh, power failure or uh, you know any device issue, the song might get stopped. So, so song's end type is for that field. Zero means song was com completely successful. One, song was skipped. Two, song was paused. And three means other type of failure like device issue or network. As I said, you know, if internet is not available, the song will stop. So those things will be coming under three. Next, like. Zero means the song was not liked. One means song was liked. Similarly, we have a field called dislike. So zero means song was not disliked. One means song was disliked. Now there is something called lookup tables. These lookup table will be available in HBase. Now what exactly is the requirement of this lookup table? I'll come to that particular point later. So uh, we will see what exactly are the different tables on the lo different lookup tables available and what are the descriptions. So first lookup table name is station geomap. This contains mapping of GeoCD with station ID. So earlier I told you GeoCD is for the different area like A is for USA, AU for Australia, J for Japan, 
and then similarly station id the different fm station the radio station will have a unique id so station geo map will contain geo cd and station id similarly subscribed users song artist map and user artist map will have different columns available third data ingestion and initial validation so this process is important because you know if you load invalid data and perform analysis you will not get exact result or to, to be specific correct result so you have to be very careful with the data whether the data is valid or not so only after that the analysis will be performed so data ingestion and initial validation is very important so there are certain rules which is there to check whether the data is valid or not so first of all there are two kinds of data which is getting captured as i said earlier one is through web and the other is through mobile so the data that is get, getting captured through web is in xml format and the data which is getting captured through the mobile application is in csv format data is getting ingested i mean data is uh, you know, available every after 3 hours all the timestamp fields in the data coming from web application will be in year year month month date date and hour minute second format all the timestamp field coming from mobile application is a long integer interpreted as unix timestamp finally all the stamps has to be converted Uh, or interpreted as unix timestamp next if both like and dislike are one so there was a field like and dislike with numbers 0 1 0 so if both the like and dislike field are one consider that record to be invalid isn't it correct because you cannot like and dislike a particular song at the same time either you will like or you will dislike next if any of the fields from user id song id timestamp start ts and ts geo cd is null or absent consider that record to be invalid if song and type is null or absent treat it to be 3 so these are the uh, you know conditions which are given to validate the data now we will see why exactly lookup table is important so that is something related to the data enrichment phase now i will give you a very simple example in layman terms so you will understand what exactly data enrichment is and why it is important so let's see one table okay this is a dummy table okay this do not get confused this is something which i have created for your understanding so there let's say there is a table a in which there are three different fields one is id name and then department so we have id name and department there are uh, multiple you know records available in one of the record the department field is not available okay so what we will do so basically we will have a lookup table available in hbase that will have id and department so against every id the department is available now you see this particular id and name is available but department is not available id number 104 but in lookup table we have the id number and against which the department is also available so before we finally push the data into hadoop we will be looking up into the table to find the missing records if the records are available we will get it joined and then we will have a full proof data so our analysis will be more accurate so basically this is the enrichment phase in which we are enriching our present data if certain fields are not available we'll, we will be looking to the lookup tables in hbase and based on that we will be joining the data and then enriching the data so this is data enrichment phase okay so let, let's come uh, to the project part so if any of the like or dislike is null or absent consider it as zero if fields like geo cd and artist id is null or absent consult the lookup table 
for field station id and song id respectively to get the values of gocd and artist id okay so we had one lookup table right i showed you here gocd map so this lookup table have mapping of gocd and station id now let us assume that gocd is missing in our main data okay so in this data in this data if gocd is missing so we will be checking the lookup table okay and against the station id we will see okay whether the gocd is available in lookup table or not if it is available we will be doing some steps we will be performing some steps to enrich our data okay if corresponding lookup entry is also not found consider that particular record to be invalid let's say if in our lookup table as well against station id if gocd is not available then we cannot do anything so we will consider those records as invalid now the post enrichment steps so we will be having some valid and invalid records so no, based on valid valid and invalid records we will be processing it so move all valid records in hadoop processing directory in hdfs and invalid records in local file system because unnecessarily the uh, you know the space will get involved in uh, hadoop so we will be moving that invalid record to local file system to this particular directory maintain a copy of valid records in local file system as well and then every 7 day or 8 days we will be running a uh, cl cleanup process okay the last thing once your enrichment is over finally comes the analysis part so there are certain uh, problem statements which you have to for which you will have to write the code now it, be, it totally depends on you whether you want to use pig hive map reduce whatever the processing engine you want you can use but these are the problem statements for which you need to find the solution so first is determine top 10 station ids where maximum number of songs are played which are liked by unique users so there can be a song which is getting highest like by different users okay so we need to find out top 10 stations which are playing those songs okay similarly multiple problem statements are there in our next session we will understand the project flow what will be the flow how the data looks like and what are the various tools that will be used in this project Thank you for joining today. Let's meet again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.